Welcome back to night never ending nightmares. So yeah. Last time I thought I'd get to the end, but I didn't and I didn't want to make the part too long. So here we are, probably at the final part. Probably, I don't know. I can't be too sure about that. Um, so yeah, now we are looking for something and I don't know what. Like always. <clears throat> Hello, happy person on the wall. Are you drinking blood? Probably. Vampire. I just realized, when did I lose my candle? Where's my candle? Oh yeah, it went out, so yeah. Not gonna be helpful in any way. No, 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 no. I'm not here, girl. I just realized I died from every one of these monsters at least once so far. Again. Good thing there is no zombie here. I'll just call them zombies, I'm sorry. I don't know what they are. Definitely not in their right mind. So yeah, zombie is very fitting, I think. <clears throat> we are in the doctor's office again. Let's look into the storage. Maybe has something good in here. Would be new, but could be, right? Zombie, are you here again? Do you want to kill me again? Why him? Why him of all the... Th oh, he can't get through. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I hate Baby Hulk. And could you walk any slower? Thomas... I think he hasn't caught up to you yet because you are so slow. Gabby, are you crying again? Why are you crying, Gabby? This time it's coming from the left, but I don't want to go there. Teddy bear! I want to take you with me. 
take him with you. Thomas, listen to me. I know you're a grown up, but that doesn't stop you from taking a teddy bear with you. You're alone at home. Could save lives, you know. I don't know how, but it could save lives. I'm sure of it. It's getting worse by the minute. Gabby, stop that. Gabby? Yikes, what's that? Do I want to know? Guess not. What are these? Are the legs and feet of, um... Dolls? No door here. Okay. Guess I was further from the ending than I thought. Or not. I don't know. I don't want to go down there. So much blood. So, so much blood. So many Gabbies. Oh, does the ending depend on what way I take here? Or something. Well, I'll have to play through it again since I didn't get any of the achievements. Then I can see that. Maybe. Are you walking on your own? No, you're not. Okay, this is a very long staircase and we're reaching the bloody end. Thomas? Dear Thomas, I'm leaving you. I'm sorry. You can't talk me out of it. I still love you, but I just can't be with you anymore. Losing our daughter was hard on me, too, yet I'm trying to move on. Your life didn't end, so why can't you live it? I hope you can get past this tragedy eventually, I really do. I guess this is goodbye. Love, Gabrielle. <laughs> Wow, woman. Wow. Oh, so the achievements are the different endings? Okay. Now I got one, so just, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, woman. Can't believe he. Ju she just left him with his sorrow, and didn't get him any help or didn't help him in any way. Just said, "Yeah, well, I, I could go on living. Why couldn't you?" Everyone is dealing with suffering in a different way. And you should never blame someone for being stuck in the past and not getting past it. Sure, you should help them, getting them back on their feet, back 
to the land of the living, so to speak, but do it slowly, be with them, help them in any way you can, but not just, well, I could, why couldn't you, so, well, I'll just leave you. Don't do that. Seriously. How can you do that to someone? Maybe you just needed someone to cry with, to talk about what happened. I had that with my um, old dog, my former dog, my late dog, that's what you say. Uh, he died you know, two years ago and um, I was at my university at the time in the seminar. I got the call uh, from my brother telling me, well, um, we had to end his suffering. And I just couldn't stop crying since I couldn't say goodbye to him. And it wouldn't end. Every time I thought about him, I would cry. And when I came back home, I thought um, Christmas that year, that was the first time I met my family again after he died. He died in the beginning of December. Um, and I cried with my mother. And that was the moment um, I could let go. I could well think about him and not cry. The nightmare continues. Yes, okay, so there is a path crossing here and here, and you can see that if I get to here, I can either get this one or this one. And now I have to figure out how to get these endings, and I will eventually, I guess. Can I click something? Sometimes just take someone to talk about what happened and what you feel and um, that's when you can let go. My mother was suffering in silence as well. She did when her mother died. She's never been a very emotional person. I'm not either but um, when our dog died he was like our little brother. <laughs> Um, and he was really, really close to my mother. So she had a very deep connection with him. So when he died, it was very hard on her. And I think it helped her to talk about it. Yeah, my the death of my grandmother on my mother's side. On the side of my father, she's still alive. Um, was hard on me too since I got to see her once a year while she was still alive and I regretted not meeting her or getting to see her more often and talking to her getting to know her I realized when she was gone that I didn't know anything about her but her name and where she lived and that she was my grandmother um, yeah, I regretted that and that that was what made me sad. Not that I lost her since I didn't really knew her, so why would I lo um, suffer from losing her if I don't know her? But this regret was what kept me crying. <laughs> I wasn't even take the day off. Um, I don't know, I was in school in, um, during the time she died. It was 2005, I believe. And um, yeah, I was in school. I was in. Well, it doesn't matter. But um, we got the message that she died early 
Sunday morning, I know the telephone rang at 5am I believe, and we're all like, okay, that's the message, she didn't get through the night, and well, we knew that she would die anytime soon, she had leukemia, and the therapy didn't work on her anymore. Um, So yeah, we weren't shocked, but it was like, okay, um, we were there the day before and she didn't even remember me. That hurt a lot. Um, and we went home, my mother stayed with her, and then in the morning there came the message that she died. I was like, okay. I'm sorry. <sighs> Remembering that still hurts. But yeah, that's the last time I saw her. She couldn't even remember me. That hurt a lot. Um, that's why I regretted it, but yeah. I can't change it anymore. But if you have grandmother, father or any kind of re relative you don't see that often, I um, <laughs> hope you start seeing them more often and not have that regret I do not getting to know them and um, losing them just like that so yeah <laughs> I'll end it here I hope you enjoyed it in any kind of way and I'll see you next time bye